But head it over. I guess there's no faster way to run. We're flying over to the west. To meet the old man that can make a damn shirt. So let's check that out. But we can't land right there. Positively chilling. Though it seems someone lives here. Hello? Is anyone there? I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear, and me fewer still. So, to whom do I owe this pleasure? Yes, oblige, sir. Vestal of wind. <laughs> Little Agnes, is it? Oh, you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you. A fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. <laughs> Ugh, lovely. It's a geriatric ring a bell. Then you are indeed the sage I seek. I fear I do not remember your name, sir. <laughs> oh, we are a lot alike in that, my dear. Not many people around these parts to call me by it. Whatever it was. Sage will do just fine by me. It is at her heels you. Sage, Sage, you'd call. A more charming little echo I've never heard. Well, I am glad to have found you. Feels rather good to hear a pretty young thing like you was looking for me. Seems I've not quite lost my charm. Now, you called yourself Vestal. I take it that means the last Vestal is... Yes, sir. Her tenure as Vestal ended five years ago. Her life, a year later. I see. A sad loss for all of us. She was fair but firm. Very firm. She had taught curves fit to drive a man mad. We shall be needing an in-depth account, good sage. Also, a briefing on any wild women of the woods. Stop talking. Just stop. <laughs> you quite the following, my dear. I had thought the Vestals forswore all contact with the outside world. These are... They are assisting me in my task. Oh, assistance, eh? I see. <laughs> oh, and such colorful characters they are. I've kept you out here long enough. Come inside. I see. Well, that's quite the story. 
You've been brave to come this far, Agnes. I'd not have managed on my own. I owe Tiz a great debt. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps it is we've come to the harrowing. The harrowing? The swelling dark is a harbinger, lad, as is the fall of the temples, the dulling crystals, the great chasm. It is the Vestal's calling to see that darkness purged. I must awaken the four crystals. Awaken them? Absolutely astonishing! Huh? What? I took the liberty of stealing a peek at the ladies' fashions you've assembled in the next room, good sir. Each is a beauty fit to outshine the next. Their allure had me spellbound. Spellbound, I tell you. <laughs> I'm impressed a man of your scant years can properly appreciate them. I would gladly talk the night away with a man of your genius. They're a matched pair. Ring a bell, please. We're in the middle of an important discussion. As am I, my friend. This is art, romance. You'll come to understand in a few years. And as I recall, we didn't come here to talk. We came to procure Vestal garb as quickly as possible. While you were chatting, I searched. My efforts bore unexpected fruit, that's all. <laughs> so, you've come to me because of your need for new vestments, have you? I have. The garb housed in the temple was lost to the darkness. We found it in scrap, sir. Hmm. Those garbs are woven from rainbow thread. No substitute will suffice. And is this thread something you keep on hand? I fear not, my dear. The Vestal to wear the garb must procure the thread herself. <laughs> it is tradition. The last Vestal of Wynn did so, as did her predecessor, and countless Vestals before. Even had I the thread used to craft the last Vestal's garb, I could not fashion it into aught of use to you. I understand. Tell me where I must go. Of course, my child. But come, the day is nearly spent. Stay the night. Oh, yes. If you girls would like, I would be happily obliged to make space in my own bed for you. Oh, unacceptable. Likewise. Then let the two of us pass the night in ardent conversation. Old man tried to be a freak. Old man said he still got a couple. You know what I'm saying? He still got a couple moves left. Well, I trust. Idea, was it? How about making a nip of breakfast now for an old man, eh? What? Why should I cook for you? Because a young beauty's home cooked meal is far more appetizing than anything I might make myself, of course. Given her upbringing, I've grave doubts the Vestal could boil water, let alone cook. That leaves you. Who can wait, Sage? Now the location of the rainbow thread, if you please. And yes, jealous are you? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. The location of the rainbow thread, if you please. Hmm. You're no fun at all. Very well, then. I prepared a light meal while you were sleeping. Eat before you go. You'll find the rainbow thread very deep in a cave that is far west of here. I shall mark it upon your map. Okay, I guess we're going west.
This must be the cave. in the cave far west from here right here somewhere oh but we got to circle around that's why Investment cave. Hopefully, this is the right place. Ugh. What a dank, wretched place. Who knows what's lurking inside? Are we certain we'll find this thread in here? I wouldn't put it past that sage to be pulling our leg. A slippery old fox, that one. Said the slippery young fox. The sage has aided vestals in their service for at least two generations. Let us trust in him for now. Then we've no reason to stand around debating. Let's press on. Looks like we hit it. We got two chests down here. Nope, they don't want them.
I wish I could, it was a way for me to reduce all these damn encounters. Do I even care? I mean, at this point, I'm just like running through the story. Um, I don't even know if I really care for the the items. I mean, I'm I'm gonna get them. It's just at the same time, I'm like, do I really care for the items? Locked, of course, it's locked. We ain't got no damn key. Dope if I could just max out all those jobs, all those jobs. Uh, 
a job experience. Another ether. found a key for the other one yet. Oh, there it is. And I bet you we're going to fight for it. Ah, look there. Is that the rainbow thread? Oh, it's lovely. I'm shocked we actually found it here. Now, let's collect it and be quit of this place. Uh, wait, we're not alone. A monster? Oh, what if it isn't a dragon? Looks like Maleficent. Charm from Well, that was a surprise. No one said anything about a monster. Did the old man know about this? If he knew and didn't tell us, he's awful. That would be lying. How could he put the vessel in danger? Without her, who would perform the rite? Be calm, Mary. Perhaps this was a trial of sorts, a test of my resolve and skill as Vestal. Regardless, we found what we came for. Let's return with the thread. There he is. Ah, back in one piece, are you? Very impressive. Then you did know. 
A word of warning might have helped you, old Letch. It's been so long since I set about crafting Vestal Garb. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten. I believe you were in a hurry. I'll begin straight away. All the haste in the world won't see it done before tomorrow. Make yourselves at home till then. <laughs> Onyas? What's the matter? Trouble sleeping? Sir, do you remember this pendant? I've treasured it like a good luck charm since I was a child. Ever since the day you gave it to me. Hmm, that brings me back. I remember it well, child. I'm pleased you've held on to it all this while. It gives me strength. In dark times, I would pray to it, talk to it, and the stone would lend me courage. Keep it close and keep it safe. Some day it may serve you better still. <clears throat> and the other girl? The one who was with me when last I was here. Do you remember her? Oh! Yes! Lilia Olivia. She the Vestal of Water. Sir, have you heard anything of her? Is she safe? The world's oceans began to fester the same day the darkness took the wind crystal. It's the crystal of water that sustains the seas. I fear. I fear the same fate has struck the Temple of Water. Or worse. I need to know if Olivia is safe, but I haven't the means or the time to seek her out. I'm afraid I know no more than you. All I can say is that she's not come to this place. I see. Tell me, child. Would you care to share what else is on your mind? Oh, I'm uncertain. Until a few days ago, I lived a hermit's existence, sequestered in the temple, surrounded by acolytes. I knew nothing of the world outside, know nothing of it still. How can I be sure in the face of that ignorance? How can I know that the path I walk is the right one? Hmm. Recent years have seen the people's hearts and minds turn from the crystal orthodoxy. Its practices are all but forgotten. Yet even still, they regard the crystals and the vestals who tend them with an innate reverence. Carry out your duty and keep faith, my child. Therein lies the path the Vestals show to all humanity. But I... I'm still so weak. Compared to the Mother Vestal, I lack in everything. I could not stop the dark from swallowing up the crystal. I cost those women their lives. And all the world's people, kings and commoners alike, their eyes bore into me, whether in expectation or disappointment. The weight is crushing. My shoulders are not broad enough to bear the weight of it. The hopes and fears of an army of strangers I've never so much as seen before. They frighten me. I am unfit to show them the way forward. I barely trust my legs to carry myself alone. Oh, brother. But they have. Despite the blame and fear, you fought this far for the world and its people. Your fight is a noble one, just and right, and beyond any reproach. But now the time has come to set others upon that path, guide them to follow in your steps. Just as the Vestals have ever drawn upon the Crystal's light to illuminate the way forward for all mankind, so must you. Words are powerful things, my child. The Vestals' words doubly so. 
They are a force capable of driving man to action, of sustaining him in times of need. You've walked your path for humanity's sake. Your love of this world has been your fuel. Now let your words be theirs. Share your path with them. They'll decide for themselves whether to follow or not. The world will choose as it may. But if you open your heart and point the way, you'll ignite a spark of hope within the hearts of countless men and women. Huh? You sound like Tiz. Oh? Already begun lighting those sparks, have you? <laughs> you'll reach them, child. Speak and your words will find a home. Then I had best choose them wisely. And he's going to feel it. He's going to feel it. Oh, you look marvelous. Mm, I knew it. You're every bit the wonder I imagined. It really suits you, on, yes? Whether it suits me or not is of little importance. These vestments are a tool, and their purpose strictly ritual. But, thank you. <laughs> a nice work feels like seven at my age. I thank you for your sacrifice, Sage. Your efforts will see the winds return. Oh? If you really care to thank me, you'd plant a kiss on my cheek. Oh, you're shameless. Is that another tradition surrounding the creation of the Vestal Guard? No, it's the sad fantasy of a lecherous little toad. What? Unacceptable. <laughs> I do love a girl with a firm touch. Come back any time you need of me. I'll do all I'm able. Thank you, Sage. Now, back to the temple. Oh wow, he got all these. I'll just buy these now just to get them out the way. In case I get like another, uh, what you call them?
now we can head over there. Wish they had one closer. grown even more stagnant it's i might be sick wait something's here <gasps> no a monster's taken hold of the crystal more throat the beast from the scriptures bringer of doom now what it stands between us and the crystal's awakening then i don't suppose we've much choice Shot kill. Shapoo. to its normal state but you mustn't stop there keep praying if you excite the crystal to just short of the breaking point then release that energy all at once its effects will spread far and wide there are a few important things to remember though first you are not to stop until i say the flow of energy into the crystal could reverse at its worst that could be fatal second once i give the signal you have to stop immediately. Any further, and this time, it'll be the crystal that breaks. I understand. Last, everyone needs to keep their distance and stay absolutely silent. The right places a huge burden on the Vestal, physically and mentally. But even if she seems to be in pain, you can't come near her or the crystal, no matter what. What do you mean a huge burden? Is there any danger to Anyas? There's nothing to worry about. I'll be right here watching to make sure of that. Now, everyone but Anya, step back. All ready to begin? Ready.
Oh, damn. To that puzzle. Then the entire brooch will look like that once we've finished with all four crystals. That's right. Only three to go. Three more times. Well, for now, let's head back to town. The wind should be returning, right? Portability cost limit has increased by one. Guess we're going up north now. 